And look, all our friends are here to see us. They are? Oh, good. We're going to have some fun. We sure are. Which fairy tale will we be in today? We'll just have to wait and see. Hey, kids, want to watch us go on a new adventure? Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. I guess our friends really like it when we go into fairy tales. Of course they do. And they laugh at all the tricks the witch plays. Hey, kids, tell us something. Who are your favorite little girls? The triplets. That's right, the triplets. Stay right there, because there's plenty of fun coming your way. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. OK. <laughs>
expecting the new clothes I made for him. The Emperor? New clothes? This must be the Emperor's new clothes. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm the Emperor's tailor. I'd love to stay and chat, but I really must be off. You see, I'm expected at the castle. In that case, Mr. Taylor, take the shortcut. It's that way. <laughs> shortcut? Why, thank you. You've been a big help, girls. Yeah! Ah, enjoy the shortcut, Mr. Taylor. <laughs> I think we're gonna have fun in this fairy tale. Come on! They fooled the tailor. That so-called shortcut leads away from the castle. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll see to that. <laughs> Majesty. That's funny. I can't see a thing. No! My magical powers are starting to take effect. Yes, an image is starting to appear. I'll soon see the clothes you should wear today. Great work, wizard! Now tell me what to put on. I'm starting to see it now. Great wizard, if you make me wait too long, I may lose my temper. And if that happens, you'll end up in the dungeon! <laughs> White tights. Mm -hmm. And a gold jacket. Mm -hmm. Tights and a jacket for His Majesty. An excellent choice, Wizard. I say this crystal ball of yours has excellent taste. Excellent. <laughs> Town crier! <laughs> Would you be kind enough to summon the people to the palace square? <laughs> His Majesty is dressing. <laughs> no, no. and on his head, a velvet crown with three droopy white flowers. <laughs> Dirty from 
walking along the ground. And besides, it's very old-fashioned. Dirty, old-fashioned. You're right. It's all because of that blasted wizard. I'll have him thrown in the deepest, darkest cell in the dungeon. Not the dungeon, Your Majesty. It's full of dust, and I'm allergic to dust. And besides, it wasn't my fault. It was that crystal ball. It's been on the fridge lately. I'm surrounded by nincompoops with crystal balls that don't work, and I thought I looked so nice. <laughs> Close for me? Really? You can count on us! <laughs> Fine, you have my permission to try. Wizard, give them anything they ask for. Houndstool, herringbone, gabardine, taffeta. They will get whatever they need to make my new clothes. Excellent. The triplets will get whatever they need, and I'll get the triplets. <laughs> Time. Could you come back in the morning? Be quiet and listen. Those two little girls you hired to make clothes for you are actually little spies. Spies? That's right, spies. If you wear the clothes they give you, everyone will laugh at you. Oh, it can't be! No! I don't believe it. You're making it all up. You're not my conscience. You're a nasty old witch. I knew it. You are a witch. Now, come on. How good it? Who sent you here? Hmm? Who? I know someone sent you here to find out about my new clothes. Now tell me who it is. <laughs> the truth is, no one sent me. I really did come here to warn you. Hey, could you keep it down? I'm trying to sleep here. Fine, sleep. Do what you like. You can't stop me. I've ordered those clothes and nothing will stop me from wearing them. Well, you do what you want, Emperor, but don't say I didn't warn you. If you wear the clothes those girls give you, you'll regret it. On the other hand, what if those lookalikes really are spies? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, come in! His Majesty wishes to know if you lookalikes need anything. We are not lookalikes. We're triplets. There's a very big difference. Oh, well, whatever you are, if you need anything, just pull on that bell cord. The gold one right there. Good day. <gasps> uh, here I am. Is there anything I can do for you? suspects that spies have been sneaking around his castle, so he's searching the place. He's looking in every room for suspicious characters, and especially for a certain witch with a large nose and a pointy hat. <laughs> Hear that? We know that witch. It's because of her that we're here. I thought so. Wizard, I want you to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> get to the bottom of what? Does this mean no donuts? Now, don't panic. Oh, Magic Crystal Ball, the Emperor suspects that the triplets are actually sneaky spies. If they are spies, let your light shine forth. Look, Your Majesty, there is the proof that the witch was right. These three innocent-looking girls are, in fact, devious spies plotting to make you look silly. They look awfully young to be spies. <laughs> What on earth is that? It's television, and if you like, I can keep switching channels. Would you prefer a show or a cartoon? <laughs> oh, 
I don't believe my eyes. Those girls are using magic even stronger than mine. <laughs> That'll teach me to buy a used crystal ball. This darn thing is no good. Your magic is very powerful indeed. I hope you aren't going to use it against me. Uh -uh. Wouldn't dream of it, Your Majesty. We're only going to use our magic to make your new suit of clothes. New suit of clothes? Oh, why, yes, I forgot to know about it. Don't you stand there, girls. Go on, get to work on those new clothes. Tomorrow is my birthday, you see, and I want to be the best, best birthday boy in the realm. Yes, Your Majesty. You have until tomorrow morning to finish the new clothes. <laughs> are sleeping. I'll be making a few little changes to the disgustingly nice new clothes that the girls made for the Emperor. <laughs> what have we here? Why, it's the remote control for their television set. But there's no TV in this castle. <laughs> and now about those clothes. <laughs> Time to snip that fine suit around the edges. <laughs> for quite a shock. <laughs> this is such nasty fun, I could do it all night long. All night long? What about my beauty, please? <laughs> the day I've been waiting for, my birthday. Well, wizard, aren't you going to wish me a happy birthday? Wizard, <laughs> I'm waiting. Happy birthday, your majesty. Thank you, you're too kind. Now go get my new suit of clothes. <laughs> Time to show the emperor the lovely suit we made for him. His Majesty wants his new clothes, so hand them over and be quick about it. We'll only give them to him in person. Go back and tell him that. Fine. So they don't trust me to deliver the clothes. Something smells fishy around here, and it isn't last night's dinner. We've got to think of something in fast. The Emperor's waiting. Oh, we better begin by cleaning up around here. Well, Wizard, where are my new clothes? I have no idea. I think the triplets are playing a trick on you. Wrong, Mr. No. Wizard. <laughs> It's so fine you can practically see through it. It's truly magnificent, but don't take our word for it. Come see for yourself. Ooh, I can't wait to try it on. Lead me to it, girls. <laughs> Have the town crier announced that I'll be out soon. But I... No, but as I say. Town crier? It's the Emperor's birthday. Tell the townspeople that he'll be appearing shortly and that he'll be wearing his new suit of clothes. Well, girls, how do I look? You look, uh, very unusual, Your Majesty. I'm sure you want to go out and show the people your new clothes. And while he's doing that, we'll slip into the crowd and make our getaway. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the Emperor's birthday, and to celebrate the occasion, His Majesty will soon be stepping outside in a magnificent new suit of clothes. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be a lot of fun. Announcing His Majesty. Huh? Trying to escape, is that it? Imperial Guard, stop those girls! <laughs> Where are you three running off to? You must stay to see the Emperor come outside wearing his new clothes. But we know how they look. We made them. And since our work is done, we're going home. Your work's done? So you really made a suit of clothes? Uh, sure. Only... Hmm? Only, uh... Only not everyone will 
will be able to see the suit of clothes that we made because, um, well, because, uh... Because that wonderful <gasps> suit is invisible, right? Exactly, it's invisible, but not to everyone. You see, we made it out of a special cloth that's so fine, only intelligent, cultivated people will be able to see it. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll be able to see it for sure. I'm real intelligent. So am I. Me too. His Majesty the Emperor! <laughs> It's so fine, you can't even feel it. Uh, what cloth, your majesty? What do you mean, what cloth? The cloth of this wonderful suit! <laughs> Subjects are clever either. Look around, they're laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness, they are laughing at me, aren't they? Now that you're watching it, I can't see my clothes either. Then that must mean I'm I'm wearing nothing. That's right, Emperor. Nothing but your undies. <laughs> this is your fault, witch. You cast the spell with that magic box. What magic box? Oh, this. But this is just a remote control. It's not magic. Look, I'll show you. That does it, witch! What's the matter with this thing? It must need new batteries. Turn into frogs 